And finally, we celebrate those who've challenged us to live up to our values. Billy Frank Jr. liked to say, I wasn't a policy guy. I was a getting arrested guy. <laughs> and that's true. Billy was arrested more than 50 times in his fight to protect tribal fishing rights and save the salmon that had fed his family for generations. He was spat on, shot at, chased, and clubbed and cast as an outlaw, but Billy kept fighting because he knew he was, he was right. And in 1974, a federal judge agreed, honoring the promises made to Northwest tribes more than a century before. Billy went on to become a national voice for Indian country and a warrior for the natural world. I don't believe in magic, Billy once said. I believe in the sun and the stars, the water, the hawks flying, the rivers running, the wind talking. They tell us how healthy we are, he said, because we and they are the same. We were trying to figure out how, what the strategy was going to be for all of us, just trying to figure out, uh, you know, we're going to fish, we're going to have fish-ins, we're going to do whatever we have to do to, uh, to get the treaties of the United States up to the level of everybody's thinking and, uh, and uh, make the United States protect us. And so that was part of everything we were doing in U.S. versus Washington when it came about in 1974. But up until that time, we, we, uh, we, uh, we marched with Martin Luther King back in Washington, D.C. All of our people, Nisqually and Puyallup and all of us, Muckleshoot, all of us marched in in Washington, D.C. And uh, with Martin Luther King, we were marching for our treaty rights and for our, uh, our, our right as Indian people and our culture and our way of life. We had an, a fish camp under the I-5 bridge, the only Puyallup River uh, tribal land that was there left. They raided us that morning and threw us all in jail. You know, Nuji, I was telling Nuji, I said, they can't do this, Nuji. We hear the, the, the doors slam behind us, we were going in jail. We always laugh about that. Billy, he's always saying, you, we can't, they can't do this to us, but they lock us up. The movement was uh, uh, us going to jail, you know, right here at the landing here. Fort Lewis is over there. The state game department was watching us 24 hours a day here. And uh, we continued to fish. We fished every day. We continued to fish. We'd fought him every day. We'd fight him. We'd go to jail, get out of jail, come back, go to jail again, get out of jail, come back, fishing. We never gave up. You know, we just continued the struggle going on and on. We're managing this sound, Puget Sound down here. We're managing all of our watersheds and rivers. <laughs> and that's what we're doing right here, to see all of our fishermen fishing and enjoying life. This is what it's all about. Every, every day I come down here when our, fishing, our fishermen are fishing, it just makes me feel good that, that uh, our boys and girls are fishing on the river and nobody is coming down arresting them. They, they regulate themselves, and uh, that's why you see us pulling our nets out today. We don't put them back in until next week, let the salmon go up and spawn. This is a regulation that we do, and we're proud of that. Before the decision in 1974, the state of Washington just took as many fish as they could. They never, they never regulated anything. 
till 1974, the federal judge come in and said, it's going to be regulated, and it is today. And that, that's who we are. We're Indian people. We've always regulated our natural resource. All of our whole thousands of years, we have regulated this country. We regulated our trees. We, our, our medicines are all over here, you know. And our, <clears throat> our culture is with us today, our language and our dances and our drums. All of these things are, are, are what makes us whole. We want to continue to work with all of our, our people around us, uh, you know, to keep our water, keep our trees, you know, keep our habitat, you know, keep fighting for the salmon, keep fighting for our animals, the food chain of life. You know, we look at this river and it's still flowing, you know, and as long as it's flowing, we're going to be all right.